Do I open up with a statement or something? Or are you guys going to ask a question here? Well, a question. Um, I know what Bill Russell means to the NBA. Yeah. Oh, he meant a lot, you know. Uh, he meant a lot before I, I arrived here. Uh, just for what he stood for, what he went through, uh, being the first black coach, um, and being a winner. You know, I still don't think he gets enough credit. He, 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 was, he did so many things, I still don't think we talk enough about his winning. And not just in the NBA level, everywhere he went, he won. Uh, but then when, when, he, when I got here, I got a chance to meet all of them, including Bill, and uh, several times. And uh, the, the thing I, I remember the most is how emotional he was uh, when we won it. Um, and I actually thought that with all the ex-players. You don't see that uh, very often. And it's just the connection that they have to this franchise. Um, but he was visibly emotional, and that was, that was cool. Can, he can't guard them both. No, listen, um, PJ is he's a great defender, but they're great offensive players. And so uh, you don't have any comfort whenever you go in a game when you have two guys like that. Um, you know, PJ is going to be there. You know that. And that you love that. Um, but it can't just be him. It's got to be everybody. And his leadership should help us. Just that he knows what we want out of him. Uh, he knows our stuff. Uh, our playbook is bigger. Uh, he has better rhythm. You know, it's, it's funny, in the 24 games they played him and Joel, they, they were number one in the pick and roll. Uh, yet, we didn't really have great synergy yet, you know. Um, so, every day they're together. Uh, they learn each other. They learn where each other wants it, and I think that helps us. You know, I don't, I don't know. That's a good question, Jen. I, I'm not sure what you learn. You learn um, where you're at, I guess, on opening night. You know, opening night is his own beast. Um, guys have worked all summer to show not only us but everyone what they've done and what they've worked on. And, and as a coach, you want to make sure they don't try to show everything uh, because they may not be ready to show that. But uh, what you want is your team to play together, uh, to compete, uh, and that's about it. Without getting too deep, you know, 20-plus years as a coach. Yeah. Um, won a championship here and kind of heartbreak also along the way. What, how do you reflect back? Or do you? I know it's a marathon. And yeah. I don't look back much yet, you know. Uh, I still love what I'm doing, Bob. So um, I, don't, I don't do that uh, often. I... You know, obviously, when I do look back, I, I look back here. I mean, the nine years here were amazing. And whenever you come back and, and drive the city, you feel that. Uh, you feel that energy. Um, and, and those years, especially the, the good ones, um, can never be replaced. Like, you'll, you'll, that, was, um, that was an extraordinary time. Not just uh, us, but all the teams were doing well, if you remember at that time. So, yeah, I, um, I don't, I'm not at one. Yet, I think maybe when I retire, I'll start doing that more. I've never done that. Um, so, I'm probably not going to start now. Yeah. Yeah, it's unusual uh, that a star like him is willing to turn himself into a role player. Uh, it really is. And it's very difficult uh, for most players to do that. Most can't. They just can't, and, and he's done that. I think part of the reason he's always, when, when, we get, when I went to L.A., I realized his passing. You remember we, we started playing him at the elbow more and use, utilize him as one of our passers. We also allowed him to bring the ball up the floor, so we opened his game up quite a bit. And so because of his passing ability and his IQ, it allows him to still play, uh, and that's why he's here. Yeah. How much does that extend to willingness to experiment in games early on? Oh, a lot. Yeah, we still will. I mean, we're not our fin we're not the finished product yet. Um, at least I hope not. Let me put it that way. So um, we have lineups 
that we haven't used much, that we haven't seen, that may end up being one of our better lineups, and we don't know what that is yet. So uh, we'll keep tinkering. You know, we have a lot of players that can play, um, and all of them will not play. And so we have to figure out what's the right combination. I know people can't guard everyone, like you just said, but given the <clears throat> Yeah, I just think we're a better defensive team. Uh, and it may not show right away. It may show. It may show tonight. That would be great. I'm all for that. Uh, but it's clear we have better individual defenders this year than we did last year. There's no doubt about that. Uh, now we have to turn that into great individual defense, um, which hopefully bleeds into great team defense. Well, we didn't get extensions when we played very much. We got deferred contracts. I think I'm still getting paid from the Hawks, uh, for that matter. So Stan Kasten is to blame for deferred contracts. Um, yeah, you know, I, honestly, I've never uh, – I had one year where I could have become a free agent and, and uh, should have if, if I could do my career over again. Uh, but, you know, so I'm not familiar with it as a player. It does – with every player. I mean, this is a business too, and, and so it's the human part of the game. And of course, um, it, it plays with all of them, even though everyone says it does. And of course, it's it's gotta be on their mind. Uh, but at the end of the day, you walk out on the floor, you have to play, you have to perform. Uh, it's a performance business. And so when you do that, everything takes care of itself. Mark, how do you navigate expectations? And is it something that you guys are feeling is different this season? I have never run from them. And they are what they are, you know. Um, I, I know one thing, I sure would rather have them than not, you know. Um, I would rather be in the arena in the fight, in the in the conversation. I would rather for one of our teams to have a chance to win. And, and I've always thought you should just embrace it, but you have to be up to the challenge. And, um, you know, uh, everyone's not going to win it this year. Uh, I've heard nine teams already uh, that are, are contenders, so – at the end of the year, I, I guarantee you there'll be only one, and all the other eight will not do it. And uh, being in the conversation is good, but you want to be the only one. And so it's, it's hard. I say it all the time. Um, I mean, we were talking about the Dodgers, you know, won their division by 22 games, and they're out. You know, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to win. Uh, and you, you have to have everything go your way. Uh, and you have to – the teams win, and that has not changed in sports. Uh, I know that as a fact. Individuals and teams win, teams that come together, and those are the teams that win every year. And it's visual if you watch it uh, every year. Trent, going through a Last lot question. when he um, – uh, you had him when he was really yeah. You are being dramatic. <laughs> no, I think, yeah, I mean, I guess um, he didn't do well as well as he thought, obviously, in Washington uh, and then in Charlotte. Um, and so, you know, maybe this is another act for him. Uh, we need him. He could be he could be a great help uh, for us. He's another guy that we added that, that could help us off the bench. So uh, we'll see. I mean, um, he's played well so far. But we just got to keep them on the right, right trails. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. All right.